My name is Tommy Yor. I'm 21 years old. I live in Tampa, Florida. I've been playing foosball since I was 12 years old, and I'm the current Tomato World Champion in doubles. Florida every week. Different defense. Tommy's probably going to be a bit nervous anyway. See something different. He might not like what he sees. No consideration at all for that. Second chance to win the World Championship for Tommy Yor. He sets it up. Strokes it home. And there it is. Tommy Yor and Brandon Moreland win the 2019 Tornado World Open Doubles Championship. What a story. The meteoric rise of Tommy Yor culminates with a win at the World Championship. Getting into foosball was very easy for me, considering my dad played. On the left side of your screen, the American, the world champion on the fireball table. And the main thing, main reason why I started to get into it was I would stay up late with my dad and watch matches. And after watching matches and everything, I was like, wow, this is really cool. I want to, I want to play it. And it just caught my attention as a, as a kid. And I just started practicing and trying to get better. Oh, I'm Tom Yor, Tommy Yor's father. He's a very talented player. He's uh, a young player who's, uh, you know, reached you know, the pinnacle of, of many players' career at this point uh, at such a young age. Um, at 21 years old and younger, he's already a world champion. Growing up with a father that is a world-class player like Tom Yarn was definitely a huge help for me in foosball. Um, he really, really helped my, ment my mentality and understanding the mental game of foosball and what it takes to be a winner. And yeah, I was really, really lucky to have that at any age. The reason I decided to emulate Tony's style was because when I was younger and I was first starting out, when I watched matches with my dad, when I saw Tony's style, it immediately caught my eye. Uh, it looked like one of the more entertaining and fun ways to play for me. And I, I started practicing it, and it was during the summer when I first saw it. So I kept, I had a lot of time to practice it. So I spent a lot of time like in my garage where we had our table at the time trying to practice it in the heat of Florida. So I was really, really dedicated, trying as hard as I could to get to, to copy Tony's style. And I spent a lot of time, it was, kind of, it was, it was definitely very difficult. Uh, doing the, doing the tic-tac on the far wall can be very hard. It's, it can be tough, tough to time the lane pass, especially when you're first starting out. But I, I used a few drills and I spent a lot of time and I got it down and the walking snake came pretty naturally to me. Uh, I, I never really had too many issues with it. It is a difficult style, but with enough hard work, uh, it's very possible to accomplish. So playing against Tony for me is definitely the most fun I have playing foosball. Match in the round of 16. That's Tony Spraderman, the four-time defending champion on the left. And that's Tommy Yor, uh, the phenom on the right. And here we go. That's three games out of five. The winner will advance to the quarterfinals of open singles. It's a lot of fun going against the same style. And it's really cool to play against someone that I grew up watching all the time, trying to perfect his style and be and play like him. He perfects the, uh, the shots and passes that he uses during tournaments. Um, I'd say that's probably the best attribute that he's had is isolating certain passes at you know the two to the five, the five bar, you know, tic tac series that Tony Spreedman uses on the far wall, and developing the same type of snake shot. And it's just so much fun because when, I, especially like whenever we're playing at someone's house, I'm lucky enough that he lives in Florida, so I've been able to play against him a lot. I personally really enjoy challenges, and obviously playing against Tony is a huge challenge. And I just really enjoy it every time I play. It, it's a lot of fun. So I do. I play with a great amount of energy, and I play my heart out, and I try as hard as I can to win. And losing is definitely a very, very difficult for me to handle, just because of how much I put into it and how much I try to win. It's really a double-edged sword because whenever you play with that style, where you go all out on the table and try as hard as you can. Uh, it, it gives you a good chance of winning because you're going all out, but it also, when you lose, it's definitely much harder on you because when you're in the moment and you're playing, like in your mind, losing is not an option and you're going to do whatever it takes to not, to not lose and obviously you're going to lose no matter what happens. So it can be pretty hard to accept losing. 
especially if it was a close match. So my motivation in foosball is simply to be the best. Uh, I won't settle for anything else. I couldn't be more proud to watch him play. Uh, very talented, skilled player. Uh, he's uh, smart and he learns from the best. I mean, he, he talks to all the top players and tries to figure things out. My, my goal is to, in the future, when people discuss who, like, who's the best player ever, I want, pe I want my name to be in the competition. I want people to be like, who's better, Fred or Tommy? The, Tony or Tommy? But I'm obviously very, I'm so far away from reaching that level and I'm going to work as hard as I can to try and be in that conversation with those players. Winning the Tornado World Championships um, at this age is definitely a really good feeling. For me, it was really, really nice to win. It was my first open title, so I picked a good title to win, I guess. But uh, I was really, it, was, it just felt like getting a monkey off my back. I feel like getting that first title is, can be really difficult. I'm just really happy that I got that open title and now I can keep moving forward. The way that I handle pressure situations is normally to completely ignore everything else that's going on around me and just focus on that particular situation because a lot of times distractions can get your mind off of it and a lot of times your mind goes to, oh, if I score this, I win. Oh, if I make this pass, I'm up. I, I can get on my three bar and go up 4-2 or whatever. And you really need to just focus on that moment, on that possession, and not worry about anything else. And just focus on getting the ball where you need it to. The advice that I would give to younger players is to pick a certain style and don't change it. That's what that's exactly what I did. I picked Tony's style and I have never changed up. I, I've worked on his style only since I've started. Granted, it can it can get boring, it could be tough, but if your main goal is to succeed in foosball, you have to pick one style and go with it. Another piece of advice I'd like to give is whenever you lose, it's not always necessarily a bad thing because experience is very key, especially for young players. For younger players, when you lose, you need to learn from that experience and try not to get too worked up about it. And one of my favorite quotes that made me realize this was, from Kobe Bryant, he said, losing isn't real. Because when you lose, you technically still win because you learn what you need to do in that situation in the future. The only time you really lose is whenever you lose a match and you don't learn anything from it. So he's young and he's still learning and you know he's got a, 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 lot, of, um, a lot in front of him. So he's, uh, you know, we're looking forward to see big things in the future. At least we hope so, or at least I hope so. So beating the best player in the world at my age isn't really the key. I'd say the, the more important thing is beating the best player in the world consistently and being able to beat them multiple times because at the end of the day, that's just one match. So I try not to let stuff like that go to my head. It doesn't matter how good your opponent is when you beat them. You have to go into the match knowing that you can win. So when you win, it's not as big of a deal and you can just focus on your next match. You have to prove that you can continuously beat the best player in the world, which I haven't been able to consistently do yet. So I'm going to keep working towards that goal and try as hard as I can to be able to do that. One of the main advantages of being a younger player is I feel like a lot of people are more willing to give you advice as opposed to an older player. Um, I just think that it's just natural for people to want to give younger, younger people advice. So I feel like it's a lot easier to get advice from people, especially when you're coming up in foosball. The main disadvantage of being the youngest player on the table is most of the time you're going to be the person with the least amount of experience. And in my opinion, experience in foosball is the most important thing because as previously stated, whenever you've been in a bunch of situations and you've lost in those scenarios, people have learned over time what to do when, to keep them from losing. So as a younger player, most of the time, you're not gonna have that much experience in those scenarios. So what foosball means to me is it's a very, very big part of my life. Um, it was especially a big part of my life because uh, my parents met in foosball. So if it wasn't for foosball, I'd most likely not be alive. Or never would've been born, so thanks foosball. Um, I've obviously grown up around it my whole life. I've gone to tournaments since I was a little kid, um, I, which I always had a blast at. I always look forward to tournaments. Um, I'm very, very lucky to have to be able to compete right now in foosball, and I love it. I'm personally a very competitive person, and I need that 
competitiveness in my life, and Foosball gives me more than enough of that. So he's, he's doing it the right way, which uh, I, I, I'm so happy to watch him play. Uh, I like to compete against him, but uh, you know, he, he's, he's too tough for me these days. So um, I'll, I'll, I'll enjoy watching him play, and uh, you know, we'll see what happens in the future. I just feel very lucky to be playing in a sport where I'm able to compete against other players at, at a top level. And yeah, foosball is extremely important.